In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about relays and how they work on our Megatron line of controllers. So from the main screen you see all the information here. You can hit zero to go into your relay screen. Now this relay screen is a kind of a manual on and off. So you can go right in here, kick this relay on. You see it says H on which means hand on. I can hand off or force it off or I can put it back into normal mode. If you need to assign your relays, which is uh, very important, especially when you first get your controller, you go from the main screen, hit Setup Run. You want to go into Configure, number seven, and then Relays, number two. Choose the relay that you want to assign. And this, is, this screen right here is really kind of what makes the Megatron stand apart. Each of our powered relays, our 110 volt relays, or if you convert them over to dry contact, can be driven by up to four different things, meaning it can be turned on by up to four different things, and it can be disabled by up to four different things. Actually five if you count the daily max. So when you first get a controller, it's probably going to come out configured for each relay as it might already be programmed to something. Uh, but you can come in here, you choose your main action, and what your relay's main action would be. In this case, as an example, I'll use conductivity. So now that it's been assigned something, it tells you what's going on. If it's blank, there's nothing assigned there. So now my main action is conductivity. That could be it. If you just want that relay to come on based on conductivity, that's great. That's all you have to do. There's some tricks of the trade, though, that are pretty handy to know if you ever run into a situation. And one of my favorites is, if you're controlling pH based off of acid feed, you can have your second activator come on any time that your pH, your low pH alarm activates. So even if you're cruising along and your conductivity is just fine, if something happens and you've pumped too much acid and your pH drops too low, you can have that pH alarm kick on your bleed relay and start bleeding off some of that low pH water. Uh, so that is, that's one of the most popular uses for these, uh, but you can uh, dream big when it comes to uh, programming these. There's a lot of different things you can do with these relays. Now below that is a relay delay. And the relay delay is basically set to, if you've got a problem with a chattering relay, conductivity is bouncing a lot and, and you're trying to really maintain a, a tight uh, a set point, you can have that relay say I, it needs to be in its action point for at least so many seconds before I actually activate. So if your conductivity is bouncing around the, the set point line and it's chattering your, your solenoid valve or your, your ball valve open, uh, especially those power open spring return ones that require several seconds to fully open and make a cycle, uh, you can set this to delay and say, okay, it needs to be in this action mode for at least 15 seconds before I actually turn this relay on. There's also a daily max that you can set. Now the daily max, because of the several different things that can drive this relay, you might have a limit time set on your bleed uh, relay or on a feed timer, uh, but you know no matter what, this relay shouldn't be on for longer than three hours in any given 24 hour period. You can go into here, go to value, and tell it this relay can't be on longer than three hours or whatever time you want from midnight to midnight now once it hits midnight it'll restart and let it run another three hours for the next 24 hours here you can select whether you get an alarm notification for that so if you hit your daily max I want a display I want a remote so if you're connected to web advantage it'll send an email out or I want both I want to show it on the screen and I want an email Now we've got our daily max set at three. And you can do this with every relay on the controller, can have multiple things driving it. That is how to configure your relays. 
If you get stuck or have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us at our office at 800-743-7431. Our customer service department will be happy to help you.